Well, good afternoon. It's been absolutely ages. It feels like ages since I've done a video. It really is doing my nothing. Work got so, so busy. I just couldn't even get... I've, this is the first time I've been in my workshop for at least a fortnight, I would say. It's just gone crazy, man. So anyway, I thought I'd do a little project to get myself back on the road uh, and away we go. So I've been thinking what to do. Now, I was going to do this King Dick spanner but it is totally and utterly seized so that's soaking in um wd-40 at the moment but i list literally will not budge one inch will not so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that so we'll see how that comes along i was thinking about doing a screwdriver but i did one of them not long ago this is a really nice one by the way love it to bits this is a preston spoke shave steel so I will do that at some time. That's on, this is on the, the sort of list. And so I thought, do you know what? I've got a lovely old, I reckon 1930s perhaps, perhaps a little bit earlier, snail brand made in England, um, auto wrench. I'll do that. So let's get the other two bits away and let's crack on. Now we all know, first thing you need to do, is removed there's only four bits in these one two three four there may be a spring there may be a spring but oh that's coming out you have to undo that screw first right now that is I, i'm quite surprised and easy how easily that has come out and that do you know what considering the amount of rust on this that don't look too bad at all always oh, probably in a clean dry safe place that should just pop out may or may not be a spring may be a washer there is neither <laughs> so there's a surprise and then you just slide that off like that. that my friends is how you strip a auto wrench down it's not hard is it really simple as a pimple so what i need to do now is just clean up all i'm going to do is wire wheel it take off the rough, ed rough edges where it's been abused let's say i mean it's still quite good clean it up not going to shine it no it's not going to be polished take off these little bits here where somebody's hit it with a hammer look try and get that as smooth as possible these little bits here where it's been hit with a hammer that's a little chunk out of it but that's okay this tool can be usable once again and to be fair that's what i want i want it to be usable let's look at in decent nick no dramas there Let's have a look at that. Oh, I can't believe how good that looks. That's been in there about possibly nearly 100 years or 90 years or whatever. I don't know. You'll know better than I do. All right. I'm going to um, clean up and see how we get on. Okay. I did say it was going to be a quick clean up. I just want to get it usable. I want it to look a bit better. I want to retain the sort of, you know, where people have, yeah, they've abused it. Do you know what I mean? But I wanted to keep that because that's all part of the use. I've trimmed most of that off, but I've left the sort of shadows of it um i'll just give it a quick polish really left i like the rough bits because that's you know that's all part of the character of the thing but uh, yeah yeah i'll just give it a quick polish i've cleaned that up thoroughly that needs to be uh perfect really to so you can use it properly i'll give that a bit of a clean i've cleaned out the um it's not a cog but you know the mesh there so in fact that should slide on quite easy look at that that's steady now um there wasn't a washer if you remember so that goes into the knurled bit start that and then all we do is simply do simply obviously I don't know, pop that in and remember that came out quite easy so that should go in and all it needs now is lubricating that is it he says and you got it so what i'll do i'll whip that out a little bit more stick a bit of lubrication on it and that is now a usable once again spanner that, and that is a, a, that's an old spanner i mean funny if i'm this smooth working when i'm this age man i'll be more than happy to be fair do you know what i mean yeah, that's lovely i love that and it fits fairly flush there is a little bit out there but you know made in england snail brand quality gear at the time and uh you know evokes a lot of memories and nostalgia and that there you go a usable spanner tough and hard working but you know 
it's no use but again thank you for being with me today i know it's a rush video i had to get one out i was suffering withdrawal symptoms i even had a chance to watch half of anybody's videos so i do apologize to everybody i usually make comments on all the videos i watch um i've been so um busy knackered when i get in to be fair so please subscribe um press the like button tell all your friends uh and above all else make a comment you know all of the comments i answer every single comment and i hope you've enjoyed that little short video to get me back in the swing of things thank you and have a great week